If he's not the most incompetent builder, he's definitely the most cunning. Last time we chased down this fake tradie, he was arrested right in front of us. But two years on, he's done even more damage. And you won't believe what he's up to now. You're a hard man to track down. How do you live with yourself? How do you live with yourself? What would you say to him? Pray hard. <laughs> He must spend a lot of time repenting. No, he's a pig. Disgusting pig. Ian O'Connor has called you a disgusting pig. Is he right? There's a lot of other people that would call you a lot worse. He's the church-going fake tradie we've been chasing since 2021. Now he's started work on a fresh project, his new image. You are under arrest for some fraud as well as some building offences, OK? He calls it a new life, a charity of sorts, but who it'll help is anyone's guess. Can we have a chat about your aid mission for Tonga? And this man, well, he's just realised it's going to be a big job. And the founder is Tavita Yungunga. He's the owner. Do you know right now he's behind bars? Yes, I do. Yep. Doesn't that worry you a little bit? Well, it worries me a lot. This court last May heard Tavita Yungunga has a history longer than the Bible when it comes to doing dodgy building work. His disrespect for the law runs so deep, apparently, that he's breached his bail for doing more unlicensed work. But our consumer watchdog's public enemy number one has been using his time in the clink wisely, launching a charitable fundraiser where you can win a house built by him. Let's hope it's better than what Ian got. So he's stripped it back? Yes. Just to the frame? Just to the frame. And then he's tried to build it yeah. again? Mm. Yes, exactly. And what have you been left with? This. A mess. Tavita Yungunga left Ian a pensioner with a shell. He couldn't even shower in his own home. Yes, yeah, $235,000. That's a lot of money. Right, yes, it is. After a current affair aired that story, other victims came forward. One of those, Joe. I think it requires more than a one-man job, yeah. Yeah, you might need an army. Yeah. This mum of two from Wollongong, south of Sydney, says she paid to Vita for a retaining wall. $120,000 later, she got this. Are you worried your house might slide off the hill? Uh, yes, eventually, I think. <laughs> it's probably going to happen. That's what her backyard looked like before he knocked on the door. When I say the name Tavita Yungunga, how does it make you feel? Angry, yeah. It's, you know, he portrayed himself as, you know, someone who wants to help and yeah, even on a Sunday, show up with his, you know, nice, clean shirt um, after he came from the church, yes. He worked here for six months. So he had his workers, yep. his digger, yep. and his Bible. Yep. But the well-rehearsed, unlicensed, uninsured and clearly unskilled tradie got caught. Well, he scammed one of the old couple um, in our neighbourhood and... Um, yeah, someone put it on Facebook that beware of this person and yeah, my heart just sunk. That person was in your backyard? Yes, yep. When Joe and her husband confronted Yungunga, he left a parting gift. First in the driveway, then he dropped it on the slope just outside her son's bedroom. This rock looks like it's clinging. Yes. Don't you yep. think? Yep. Yeah, we were worried about it bouncing, if it will bounce to the house or, yeah, we don't know which way it'll go. The only thing bigger, the damage bill. More than double to fix it, 300,000 at least, I would say. He got out of town so quick, he even left his licence in the rubble. At, at one stage, uh, uh, he starts threatening us to say, well, um, if you don't pay more, I won't do this for you, I won't clean up for you. Yeah, one day he just, he just left. With your money? With, with our money. Yeah. What's happened with all the money 
Well, it's life. a question he doesn't like. Where's all the money? It's gone to your family, hasn't it? You're living in a life of comfort and everyone else is living in squalor because of what Price, you did. Price. His family are regulars at the Church of Latter-day Saints. Even Tavita's wife was fined for helping in 2017. Despite filing for bankruptcy in 2018, Tavita continued door to door doing jobs, which led to three public warnings by Fair Trading. But a current affair has traced complaints about Tavita back to 1998 in Hawaii. Repeated attempts to shut him down eventually saw the US tax office get involved, which estimated his income at over a million dollars. Now, that's not really very fair, is it? <laughs> and he's got a, a bank account full of my money. Tavita comped a 14-month intensive corrections order for what he did to Ian. Now, he faces more than 50 fresh charges, from fraud to illegal work. David Ross, Nat Wallace from A Current Affair. And here's the resurrection. Uh, do you know that you've been listed as the financial controller for this fundraiser? It's not a fundraiser. What would you call it? It's a business with an associated non-profit organisation running parallel with it. It's called AKA New Life. The website's live and the founders behind bars. The idea, you can buy a ticket in a raffle with the proceeds apparently helping educate and support the good people of Tonga. And the first prize is money or a house built by you know who. I don't know uh, what he's doing with the uh, bank accounts. And David Ross, a reputable business owner, told us he's acting as a consultant. It hasn't even started. It hasn't done anything. It's on the so internet. You need to get your facts right. It's on the internet. It hasn't done anything. Nowhere on that website does it say, we're not working yet. It just says, do you want to buy a ticket? No. The, well, the website's open, but no one's aware of it. That's our newfound Robin Hood, Tavita, doing an interview promoting it. The public payment options are currently disabled. It's unclear if anyone's previously accepted any money. The website describes Tavita as an expert in construction, microfinance, political systems and the laws of many countries. He was the victim. He's the victim? Well, he, he did the work and he didn't get paid. There are people not far from here that wouldn't let him construct Lego, let alone touch their house anymore. Yet somehow, this man has treated our laws like a child's game. And by the looks of it, there's plenty of life in this 58-year-old yet. One woman, for instance, Tavita took all of her money, then dumped a giant boulder outside their house. By him? I doubt it. You doubt it? We'll be able to show you the pictures. How? Can he keep going on scamming, like, you know, after so many cases, why is he still out here scamming? We know there are more people out there claiming Tavita did them over. If you are one of them, please get in touch.